Hey everyone, this is my PowerPoint on the famous artist Mark Quinn, so let's get into it. So this kind of artwork is titled Self, and he did this in 1991. It was very significant to Mark to make a sculpture of his own self because of what he was actually going through at the time. Mark was an alcoholic, and he was very dependent on temporary pleasures. So he made his own sculpture to symbolize his life at the time, and self symbolizes his life by needing electricity to keep his frozen status. So just like Mark depended on alcohol, his self-sculpture depends on electricity. In this piece, he actually looks very sad, which symbolizes his emotional state at that time in his life. He uses blood, which makes me think that he always felt like he was in some kind of pain. And I say that because usually when we bleed, we hurt. So in this piece of artwork, Mark titled this Face to Face, and this is from a series he did in 1994. This is one of the many sculptures that he put in an actual series. Mark stated that he had a series of sculptures to represent him at a challenging time of his life. This sculpture gives me a sense of uneasiness. While both his hands are lifting his head and removing his head from his body, I automatically assume that this is to represent wanting to run from your feelings. Removing a head from the body is like removing your mentality from your emotions. Your heart and body is where your emotions lie. Your head is where your mentality lies. So it makes me think of when I feel upset and uptight about how I have a problem with being logical versus just going with my heart. Also, your body is where you feel all of your anxiety and nervousness. So removing your head from the tension will allow you to focus more on your logical standpoint. In this piece of artwork, Mark titled this Fear of Fear. And he did this in 1994. This is also one of the many sculptures that was a part of a series of sculptures. In this sculpture, I immediately sensed that Mark was symbolizing the actual feeling of fear and how it can make us feel sort of empty and not ourselves. When we are ourselves, we are whole because to feel whole is to feel complete. So when we're afraid, we feel like we're losing parts of ourselves. And in this sculpture, you can see that there is no heart, just bones in the middle. And it's almost like fear is eating you alive in some kind of way. And these are my citations that I use to grasp a lot of information. Thank you.